If you can give me just a few minutes, I'll show you a hidden gem of an indicator that can completely change the way you spot trend shifts and reversals. I'll take you through the setup, show you exactly how to use it, and by the end of this video, you'll know how to catch market moves with statistical precision. This isn't going to be a long-winded lecture. We'll dive straight into the indicator and the strategy that can give you some seriously powerful trading signals if you use it correctly. So stay with me till the end. So I'm in trading view and I will be using a GBP USD trading chart on a one hour chart. You can choose any. So go to the indicators tab from here and search for rolling Z score trend and then add this one created by Quant Algo. Click it and add it to your trading chart. We're talking about something called the rolling Z score trend indicator created by Quant Algo. And trust me, it's more than just a fancy name. What this thing does is simple but brilliant. It shows you how far the current price has moved away from its recent average using something called standard deviation, which is a statistical way of measuring how extreme a move is. Basically, it standardizes the price into Z-scores, helping you quickly spot when the market might be overbought, oversold, or building up momentum. You'll see a few things show up. There's the Z-score line, which is the main one you'll follow. It tracks how far the current price is moving from its rolling average, and it updates in real time. Then you'll see colored background columns, green for bullish momentum and red for bearish momentum. These bars measure acceleration or deceleration, giving you a visual sense of how strong the momentum behind a move really is. You'll also notice threshold lines at plus 1.5 and minus 1.5, which are your overbought and oversold zones. And to make things even more useful, there's a small info table that shows the exact Z-score and momentum numbers. Now in the settings, you've got some really smart presets. You can open the settings from here. Do you feel like everyone around you benefits from artificial intelligence, but you have no idea where to start? Don't wait any longer. Start today. Our free trading bot is simple to use, powered by artificial intelligence, and can earn you up to 1% profit every single day. Over 500 members have already joined. Click the link below now to get free access. This is your chance to harness the power of AI and take a step toward a financial boost. Now let's quickly go through the settings because this is where things get really customizable. When you open the settings of the rolling Z-Core trend indicator, the first thing you'll see is the look back period. This controls how many candles the indicator uses to calculate the rolling average and standard deviation. You can tweak this depending on how fast or slow you want the response to be. The Z-score line itself is smoothed using a 3 garret MA which helps reduce noise while still keeping the indicator responsive to price changes. Now, here's the best part. This indicator actually comes with pre-included modes, which is super handy. You've got four options. Default, which is balanced for general use. Scalping, which is super responsive and works best on lower time frames like the 1 minute to 15 minute charts. Swing trading, which is optimized for higher time frames like 1H, 4H, or daily, and filters out more noise. And trend following, which applies maximum smoothing and is ideal for longer term setups on daily or even weekly charts. Another important thing here is the confirmation filter. The indicator waits for the current bar to close before finalizing signals. This means you don't get caught by sudden mid-candle moves or fakeouts. It's built to avoid premature entries and give you much more reliable signals. You'll also see threshold lines, usually set at plus 1.5 and 1.5 to help you spot overbought and oversold zones. And finally, there's an info table that shows you the real-time Z score and momentum values, which can be really helpful when analyzing or managing your trades. So how do we actually use this in a strategy? When the Z-score line is above zero, the price is trending above the recent average, suggesting bullish momentum. When it's below zero, that suggests bearish momentum. Simple enough. But what makes this indicator really shine is how it handles extreme moves. When the Z-score crosses above plus 1.5, it shows potentially overbought conditions. Basically, price is stretched to the upside. And when it dips below plus 1.5, that's potentially oversold. These zones help you identify areas where price might reverse or slow down. But remember, just because something's overbought doesn't mean it'll drop immediately. Strong trends can keep stretching. That's where the momentum columns come in. For example, 
If the z-score is still rising but the green bars are getting smaller, that's called momentum divergence. It's a subtle but powerful sign that strength is fading and a reversal might be close. The same logic works for the downside. If the z-score is dropping but red bars are shrinking, bearish momentum is weakening. Let's look at a real example for a buy setup. Price had been falling and eventually dipped deep into the oversold zone. Z-score went below minus 1.5. A few candles later, we noticed the Z-score line started climbing again, crossed above zero, and the green momentum bar started expanding. That was our cue. We entered the trade right when the candle closed above the zero line with momentum accelerating. Stop loss can go just below the recent swing low, and we can aim for a 1.5 to 2 target. If you follow the rules and conditions closely, you will yourself see the amazing profits you will be able to make from this strategy. This trade also ran beautifully as momentum continued to grow. Now, for a sell example, here we saw price climbing aggressively and the Z-score spiked above plus 1.5, well into overbought territory. Momentum columns were still green, but they started shrinking clear bearish divergence. A few candles later, the Z-score line reversed sharply and crossed below zero, with red columns picking up steam. That's the signal we were waiting for. So we can take a sell position as the candle closed below zero, placed stop above the recent high. And if we see, after some time, the move played out quickly with momentum pushing price down for a profitable sell trade. Now, again here in this example, we can see the price was pushing up with strong momentum, and the Z-score line spiked above the plus 1.5 level, deep in the overbought zone. At first, the momentum columns were green and rising, but then they started shrinking bar by bar while the Z-score was still holding high. That's a classic bearish divergence. A few candles later, the Z-score reversed direction and crossed back down below the zero line. At that point, the red columns began building up quickly, confirming the shift in momentum. That was our confirmation. So we entered a sell position as the Z-score closed below zero, placing our stop above the most recent swing high for protection. The real edge with this indicator is combining Z-score direction, momentum bar behavior, and the overbought slash oversold zones together. And when you mix in simple support slash resistance or structure-based price action, you'll find some very reliable trades. So to sum this up, the rolling Z-core trend isn't just about spotting overbought or oversold, it's about reading the strength and shift of momentum in a clean, visual way. The presets make it easy to adapt to your trading style, and the confirmation filter helps avoid false entries. Whether you're a scalper, swing trader, or trend follower, this indicator can give you an edge in timing reversals or staying in trends longer. Quick disclaimer before we wrap up, this is not financial advice. I'm just showing you how this tool works so you can decide if it fits into your strategy. Always use risk management, combine indicators with your own analysis, and test everything properly. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more strategies like this. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.